Hey folks, uh, in the last video, we tested Olama.ai in Ubuntu. It went pretty smoothly. No idea what's going to happen if I try to run this in Garuda Linux. Garuda is based on Arch. I'm not really experienced with Arch. My main Linux experience goes back to doing work as a server admin in CentOS and Red Hat. So I'm still kind of just playing around with things like Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Arch, and getting familiar with desktop and Linux. So let's just do it and see what happens. Even if it doesn't work, this video will be posted, so we'll know. So our, uh, on my other window here, I have a terminal open. Let me slide it over. And let's see what happens if I grab this. And paste it here. It's downloading. I'm sure the download part will work. It's just curl downloading a file. We don't really know what's going to happen once the um, thing tries to install. Uh, so we'll have to just wait and see. I'm going to try to install now. And uh, looks like it actually, <laughs> actually did it. So that means from there we go over to models. We'll run our very powerful and useful Mistral 7B. Even just in a test of doing two prompts in the last video, I'm really liking this. So let's see how it goes when we do the instruct model. And another thing I noticed was in Ubuntu, curl was not installed by default, but in Garuda Linux it is. So already in Garuda Linux, there's so far are less steps. Oh, and by the way, this is the same computer that I tested on Ubuntu. It's, a, it's got a few operating systems on here. This is the same... 6th generation Core i7 with uh, RTX 3080 video card. Because the video card, if you're not familiar, does the processing for AI systems. Almost finished. So far it looks like this Mistral uh, language model outperforms Llama. That seems to be the consensus and people who discuss this online. I agree so far, even just from a quick test. I've done so much stuff with variations of Llama in the cloud. And just two prompts on Mistral already makes it seem better than Llama 7B. I'm not going to say it outperforms like a Llama 70B, but for 7B models, this is like really the deal right now. Almost there. So what I did in the last video, I'll just do now. I'll have it tell me a story. Give it instructions, see what it does. The story it told last time was longer. Um, this one is shorter, but it's still kind of like a fantasy kingdom story. Let's uh, play around a little bit more. Um, tell me a long story about superhero who can fly and shoots lasers from his eyes. And we're right there in Metropolis. <laughs> Sky Blazer fighting alien invaders. Okay. All right. Now let's try the other one, which is the text completion, where you start typing something and it completes what you're typing. So I remember we type slash buy to exit out, and we'll run the text completion version and let it download. The way to install and run this on Garuda Linux is the exact same as Ubuntu. They made this pretty good for the installation. I'm going to hand it to them on that. You never know when you're installing something new in Linux that you end up down some major rabbit hole. So this one is like pretty clean. All right, we're almost there. Let's see what happens when the text completion model is installed. Let's have it do a text completion on the same thing I did in Ubuntu. The best way to make chicken tender when cooked is oh, this response came out a little bit different this time I've never used a 7b that can give this much detail like look how much it gave it's like really impressive some things are a little bit funny in the output but you know that's about it for this quick test uh, perhaps I'll make a video in the future uh, just kind of diving into the capabilities and limitations of Mistral Test on a general knowledge, ask it some riddles. 
so far I like it. So far I think that the people who said it's uh, a little more powerful than Llama 7B are probably correct, but I'll be sure to test that in the future. I think the next video I'm going to do, since we already tested this in Ubuntu and Garuda Linux, will be to run it on Mac OS since it's also compatible with that. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thanks for watching. I appreciate a like and a subscribe. If you want to keep up on AI and Linux stuff, I'll be doing this some more. Uh, it's been kind of tough in my business with an issue I had with a bookkeeping service. Not doing such a good job for me, so I had to take a break from this for a while and clean up a lot of back-end stuff in my business. It's been terrible, but I'm back into this now. So if you miss watching it, I'm back. If you're new, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.